In this vid, we're going to show you um, swapping in a JDM 205 into, um, let's say, a 02 to 05 WRX. Uh, here's the carnage we have uh, discovered. What the fuck? Jesus. Yeah, he said the motor just shut off while driving. It's all sorts of cam gear in there. All sorts of it. We're gonna yank this sucker out and then go over the uh, differences between this and the JDM 205. Something's missing. Oh, there it is. Your cam. That exploded. Ah, hmm. uh, yeah. That's why it exploded. She ate something she didn't like. Some bits of Baron? Yeah. Is it seized? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So she done ate something she didn't like and she got mad about it. Looks like it only made like a bit of a rotation before. Good nighting. Here is the JDM 205. So this is meant to work with a 16-bit um, ECU. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can either utilize the intake AVCS. Um, for that, you'd need the 16-bit um, AVCS ECU, which would likely only be Japanese ones. Um, then you would need to do some wiring on your car, which is quite simple. Um, just change a few on your main connectors and then another four going in through there. But that's not the uh, method we're going with. On this one, we're going to make it work with the um, domestic WRX ECU, um, which is very simple as well. It's simpler than doing the complete JDM swap. So our motor to start with was a um, drive-by wire intake manifold. So <clears throat> these WRXs are drive-by cable. So I mean, that would definitely not work for what we are doing. So we just take off the whole manifold in one piece with everything attached to it. And then along with the um, domestic one, we take it all off. That's on the bench. So this is what's left of the uh, domestic motor. So things you need off of it are your um, water pipe here, the coolant crossover. They're a different orientation between the two. Um, you need your crank sensor, your cam sensor, your knock sensor. Um, sometimes the uh, PCV is different between the two, so just double check that. Um, another difference is this one doesn't have a crank vent in the middle of the block. And it also only has um, single breathers on the cylinder heads. So going back to the JDM here, it has a breather on the a second breather on the engine block, and then uh, two breathers on each side of the cylinder heads. So to overcome that, we are using the um, JDM routing for those so they'll all plumb back into where they were the usdm would have been just this to this so that is still there and will work as it should and then we use our um, domestic coolant crossover um, obviously when you do these always do new o-rings um, or else you're gonna regret it uh, another slight differences are the um, the way the oil feed goes to the turbo. So this one comes back out of the cylinder head, whereas the um, domestic one, this line will be cut off because there is no AVCS. Even the bottom water pipe is a little different orientation. The domestic one, it goes straight up. The JDM one, it's a bit of an angle. So use your JDM rubber hose to go to your turbo there. 
Um, on this one, we're using his domestic turbo because this engine came with a TF035 turbo, which is a little bit smaller than the um, domestic TD04. This guy didn't damage his turbo when his engine went, so we can reuse that. And then also another good thing to do, no matter which way you're going to install this, is remove all these and uh, take out the little banjo bolt screens because they like to clog up and uh, kill motors. And what else can we say about it? I mean, if you want to get nitty gritty in this and really utilize your JDM bits, um, these ones come with a JDM TGV delete. Um, so you could swap those on. You'd have to tune out the codes for your um, TGVs. Uh, again, we're not doing that in this one. He just wants it, you know, as stock as can be. So we've got our domestic manifold all in one piece, cleaned up and ready to uh, drop back on. Again, you're going to be using new gaskets here. And for the most part, that's pretty much it as far as uh, swap differences. Um, again, once you get them both down to long block, it's always good to compare stuff uh, between the two, just so you don't get caught up on something, assembling it too far to realize that you were supposed to switch it. But that is it. And there's everything back on the JDM 205 from the USDM 205. It really is pretty straightforward. Um, you know, I mean, we could make another vid later on doing the full throttle JDM swap, which would be running the, um, the intake AVCS. We have a car outside we did it on, um, but we'll, we'll touch on that later. This is for getting the JDM 205 to work in your USDM car with your USDM ECU. And the best part about it, Rob is you can use your cob oh, access shit. port. Yeah. thing that's actually very scary can you see it it says P P
And that's it guys, uh, that wraps up this video. So hopefully that helps some people. So again, this is JDM 205 into domestic 0205 WRX using the domestic ECU and not getting any check engine lights.